Have you ever wondered how your favorite software application from Instagram to your banking app and even to your favorite game like Candy Crush are created and maintained? Or are you an aspiring tech professional who is curious about how the magic of software development actually happens? Well, stick around because today we're diving into the software development lifecycle or SDLC for short. And trust me, by the end of today's video, you will have a crystal clear understanding of the entire process from start to finish. Let's get into it. All right, so what is software development lifecycle or SDLC? Now imagine you're building a house. You wouldn't just start throwing bricks around and hope for the best, right? You would need a plan, a design, a budget, permits, contractors, materials, and a clear idea of the kind of house you want to build. The SDLC is exactly the same, but for software. Now, simply put, the SDLC is a process used by software developers or development teams to design, develop, test, and deploy high quality software. Think of it as a recipe that guides developers from a initial idea all the way to the final product. And just like any good recipe, following the recipe step by step is crucial to ensuring a tasty or delicious outcome. Now there are several stages in the SDLC, each crucial to the success of the project. Let's break them down. Phase number one, planning or initiation. Now first up, we have the planning phase. This is where everything begins. In this phase, the idea of the software is born or analyzed. It is like a brainstorming session for a new business idea. All possibilities are considered. The main goal here is to understand the scope and feasibility of the project. We identify the resources needed, set a timeline, and assess potential risks. Imagine planning a big wedding without knowing the venue, the budget, the guest list, the menu, the decorations, the entertainment entertainment, the dress code, or even the date. Sounds chaotic, right? That is why planning is crucial. The planning phase is extremely crucial to ensure that you have a clear direction from start to finish. Phase number two, analysis. Now we move on to requirements. This phase is all about gathering detailed information on what the software should do. It's like writing a wish list to Santa Claus, but for software features. Business analysts champion this phase and work with subject matter experts and developers to elicit and document every single thing the software needs to achieve. Now think about this as outlining every detail of building a house. You need to specify the number of rooms, the layout of the kitchen, the placement of windows, the type of flooring, the kind of roofing, etc. Without a comprehensive list, you might end up with a swimming pool in the living room. Cool for parties, but definitely not practical. Phase number three, design. After we know what the software should do, it's time to design it. It's time to design the solution. Imagine you decided to build your dream house. This is where you bring in the architect to draw up the blueprint. You wouldn't start building without a plan, right? Similarly, in SDLC, the system design involves creating detailed specifications and blueprints for the software. This is where we decide on the technology stack, the database, user interfaces, and other components. It's detailed and thorough because, well, you don't want to realize you forgot to factor in a kitchen after you've started building, right? So it's absolutely crucial that you design the solution before you start building. Phase number four, development or build. Now comes the fun part development. This is where developers roll up their sleeves and start writing the code. Each requirement is translated into code and all the pieces of the software are built. Think about this phase as the actual construction of your house, where the bricks are laid and where every nail and screw matters. It is an intense phase filled with creativity and problem solving. And yes, lots and lots and lots of coffee. Now, this might seem intimidating, but remember, not all tech pros require you to write code. Understanding the phase helps you appreciate the work developers do and how your role fits into the bigger picture. Now, after development, we have phase number five, which is testing. Once the software is developed, 
it enters the testing phase. This is crucial because we need to ensure everything works as expected. It's like a quality check for your new house to make sure the plumbing does not leak, the electricity works, testers will look for bugs, errors, and any issues that might affect the core functionality or user experience. It's meticulous work, but finding a bug here is way better than having your app crash when it's live. Phase number six, deployment or implementation. With testing out of the way, it's time for deployment. This is the big moment when the solution is released to the end users. Imagine the big move-in day when you finally get the keys to your new house and you start living in it. Exciting, right? Of course. Deployment can be done in stages or all at once. Depending on the project needs, the phase also involves training users, setting up support systems to handle initial hiccups and queries, etc. Now, after you've deployed your solution, we go into phase number seven, which is the maintenance or early life support or hyper care or post implementation support. Now we have maintenance, just like a house needs regular upkeep, fixing leaks, repairing walls and mowing the lawn. Software needs ongoing maintenance to stay functional and efficient. This phase involves updating your software, fixing bugs, adding new features as needed. It's an ongoing process that ensures the software remains useful and relevant. Now I'm sure some people might be thinking, this is all fantastic, this is all interesting, but why do I need to know about the SDLC if I'm not going to be writing code? This is an excellent question. Understanding SDLC is crucial because it helps you see the bigger picture. Imagine you're a project manager, a business analyst, or even a scrum master. Knowing the SDLC allows you to communicate effectively with developers. It helps you to understand the nature of their work. It helps you to manage expectations. It's like being able to speak the local language when you're traveling. It just makes things a whole lot smoother. So there you have it, the most comprehensive explanation of the software development lifecycle. Don't forget that SDLC is flexible, accommodating various methodologies like Waterfall, Agile and even DevOps each with its own unique approach to the phases we discussed. So whether you're transitioning from teaching, nursing, or any non-tech field, understanding SDLC is critical to your journey into tech. As always, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button for more tech insights. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to celebrating your six-figure tech job. Peace.